guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be, I'm very excited about it. It's going to be fun for me and hopefully fun for you guys. So this is my 2020 planner. When I say I experienced a lot of change in 2020, as far as my planner lineup, it's an understatement. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what my planner looked like at the beginning of last year. So this time last year, this is a card that I received from someone and I just totally popped it up. This is my very fancy intro page here. So I started, don't ask what that is, I don't even know. So I started 2020 in the, I actually started, um, the planner I had bought was a 2019, 2020, and it was horizontal. And I was using that and then I really wanted to change and I saw the teacher layout and I just thought I would like it. So when the new year came around for 2020, I switched to the teacher layout. So that was already a change I wasn't anticipating because I had planned to use, it's actually what this cover is from, I had planned to use this horizontal planner. But I just kept the cover and then switched into the teacher layout. So this was my first layout with uh, the teacher layout and I just kind of put some stickers up here, kept it very functional. I had um, this little card here I thought was really cute and I put some quotes. This was my first um, class that I taught of a particular course so I wanted to write down some some things to remember um, and then I just I was doing some journaling here. I wasn't really sure how to use the layout yet. I think this is pretty cute. Um, it, again, it's very functional and I was trying out different things. So I labeled these, you know, these sections here. I had this as like my agenda, um, you know, tasks, like priorities, other to do's. This was home stuff, you know, reflect, quote, gratitude. I was just trying something different. And I had like the water thing over here. Obviously I wasn't doing too great. <laughs> I'm doing a little better on that this year. Um, Again, very functional, trying something different. I tried to label this as events that I had, which what are events? We don't know what those are. Um, get it done. It's just like to do's and things. Brain dump, just random, you know, whatever. I really did like these stickers, though, in the way I did the letters there. Gaming, I had a gaming to do list. Yeah. And home. So just just different. Um, that's just a filler paper little insert to write some more things so I don't know what happened to February so we're gonna go right to March seriously I like lost February I don't know what happened my monthlies are never good I don't really use them in my catch-all so then I went to dashboard layout <laughs> so I, I was really I was exploring so I remember Michaels had had a sale on happy planner stuff and they had this dashboard planner it was like I remember I paid like $10 maybe for it and I just wanted to try it out. I just really was wanting, like the teacher layout was okay, but it wasn't really working for me. Um, and I just wanted to try something different. So these, yeah, this is so funny looking back because I just don't plan like this anymore. It's very funny. Like I have my bills here and now I have like a separate budgeting planner and like, I was putting all kinds of stuff into one planner, whereas now I like to have things separate. That's just me. Um, yeah, very, oh look, I edited my first YouTube video today. Oh, that's cool that I wrote that down March 24th. I'll have to do like a, like an anniversary thing, like a one year anniversary. Then I was doing some journal here, journal, doing some journal, doing some journaling here. This was something I remember I, took that photo for something. Oh yeah, the April Planner Challenge by Hand Plans. This I remember doing, I remember filming this for, this might have been my first plan with me on YouTube. You should go back and look, I'll go back and look too. I think this might have been, uh, <laughs> this might have been my first plan with me that I did on YouTube. Oh, I remember this. I was feeling all like springy in April and that's super cute. Now this I do really like, it's purple, obviously, so I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, that's really pretty. I, this is that sticker book from um, the one I got at Tuesday morning by One Canoe Two, I believe. It's, yeah, it's really pretty. 
Um, I like that I have your current favorites, quarantine food, baked chicken, rice, and veggies. That's good. YouTube channel, Smoky Glow. Yep. That's, that hasn't changed. Craving to satisfy chocolate. Yep. Songs, Strawberries Wake, Dance Gotta Dance. Yep. Podcast, Ear Biscuits, Coffee, Hazelnut, Wawa K-Cups. Yeah, those, those are good. I just want to get my master's. I have less motivation than I should. Two more weeks. Yeah, I was, I was working on that master's degree and I'm so glad to be done. Here I was writing things I missed. So this was like right in the the beginning of like hardcore quarantine. Um, tra I miss traveling to Florida to see my family. Here we are a year later. Still miss that. Still haven't done that. Shopping. I do that occasionally. Just I'm hesitant to do it too much. Date nights with Jimmy. Yeah. Wawa runs. I do go. I go to Wawa. Um, yeah. It's just funny. It's like funny but it's not so let me go into may and we have oh i remember this i remember i started writing with the with this it was a paper made flare but for some reason the ink came out much like bolder and thicker than it normally <laughs> did with the other colors so i yeah i didn't really like it um looks a little like a you know elementary school kid did it with that marker but it's okay Okay, this is really cute because this is the week that I graduated from college and my college colors were this like teal color and red. So I wanted to do that theme. I think this is really freaking cute. And it was my virtual graduation. Yeah, this is cute. Oh, this is cute too. Squad goals, the original squad goals. So I was again going with the very like springy theme. I had lots of flowers and pink and it's very cute pretty cute this I remember I was using up the um oh what's that book called I still have it there it is the brights book look I've almost like I've used a lot of it and I've torn pages out and it's yeah yep I remember I was trying to use up the brights book then we go into June oh June 2020 was a horrible horrible month for so many reasons this is a cute layout though. The donuts and the, the sprinkles and the, it's cute. Oh man. Yeah, this is pretty emotional to look back on. Um, this is, I wanted to do like a summary theme to try to like cheer myself up. And I think it's super cute. I used the original squad goals again and it's just, it's really cute. Oh, look. Pick up Last of Us Part 2. Oh, man. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. I remember I wanted to do a, a layout for Pride Month. So it's all rainbow. That's super cute. All right. We're going to go into July. Okay. So this was the first layout that I ever drew, uh, clearly. So this was right after Planner Geddon. I don't want to go too much into that and everything that happened but basically I was looking for a new planner system um I wanted to support a company that aligned with my values and I ended up discovering that I didn't need to support you know one specific company I didn't need to buy you know I looked into passion planner I looked into bloom daily planners like I spent hours and hours like doing all this research on what planner I wanted and at the end of the day, what works best for me is disc bound. That's what I like. I like disc bound and I didn't want to leave it. And just because it's disc bound doesn't mean it needs to be a happy planner. So <laughs> I decided to just start drawing my own layouts. And so that has led me to where we are currently. So this is when it began. It was in July of 2020. And I am still drawing my own layouts. I think this was super fun. I wanted to play with colored paper. And have it be very like, you know, outdoorsy and I'd put like my own quotes on here and stuff. Not my own quotes, but quotes from songs and stuff. This is one of my favorite layouts I've ever done. Like, it's just so fun. It's so summery. It's it's bright. Like, this washi is like blindingly pink. Um, <laughs> not my everyday vibe, but it, it's very cute for, for summer and I like the, the circles here. This was super fun. Oh my gosh, I remember doing this. 
Oh man, this was so fun. This is so fun to look back on as well. Now I don't plan like this anymore. Um, because again, I keep everything kind of separate. So like tracking my moods here, this was the first time I'd started actually tracking my moods, which I thought was important and I still do, but I do that in a separate planner now. I will admit I haven't done a mood tracker for January and I'm probably not going to. I just kind of slacked and I waited too long and now I feel like I can't make up for it. Um, but I do still journal and track my moods. At least I try to. Just not in my catch-all. This was a monthly that I drew. It's interesting. This is cute. This is like one of my favorite layouts as well. I would definitely change it up now because again like bills I don't put in my catch-all I put in a separate planner um this I just kind of had I needed a place to put the date because I didn't save room up here at the top um just random like thinking check it off hydrate you know I mean you can change it up but I, I really like the way this layout looks and I remember using that um that Bic intensity marker like that dual ended pen that I I got this is where I wanted to try to draw my own dashboard layout, but not like box everything off. I remember doing this. I wanted to leave it kind of open. Um, and it's okay. I, it's, it's okay. But again, I'm not, I'm just not really like, it's a lot of wasted space. I just don't, yeah, I just don't plan like this anymore, but it's interesting to, you know, you got to try stuff out to know what you like and what you like is going to change inevitably over time. I gotta say this is one of my favorite layouts I've ever done. Like period. Like this is so cute. It's just like it's just a horizontal very standard like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like very standard horizontal layout but I love this washi and this and like the way it's layered and the colors and the little simply gilded ghosts like I just really like it. I think it's super cute and it's definitely one of my favorites. Now this was in August and I was starting to really miss the uh, creepy and spooky <laughs> vibes in my planner. So I just went ahead and uh, did that. And I think this came out really cute. Oh, this is another favorite like of all time. This is like the definition of like creepy but cute I mean that's really like creepy kawaii like <laughs> so cute I, these are from shine sticker studio I remember I bought a kit it was the first kit I bought from them um I'm not a huge sticker kit person per se um I prefer like sticker books and I just feel like with kits I I don't know I just don't really like to use them for some reason but and I use my shine sticker studio washi that I got at Michael's and some little stickers that came in a sticker book for Michaels by them. So this was the Shine Sticker Studio spread. And I think it's, uh, I think it's adorable. I love it. September. This was my attempt at doing a functional monthly. Again, I just find I don't really use monthlies in my catch-all. I just, I just don't. This is pretty cute. This is from the uh, This Is Us collection from Paper House Productions. I, I remember I finally got the stickers at Michael's. They they were sold out. Um, and they like they were sold out online and then they weren't available at my local Michael's. And then I went one day and they finally had them. Um, this is a die cut sticker from uh, Shauna Klingerman from her collection, the mental health line from um, This Is Us from Paper House. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this out of many one. That is awesome. Another favorite, uh, definitely like, yeah, I remember creating this like it was yesterday. I love, I'm definitely going to do this again. I love doing the boxes like with model liners and then doing like a shadow around it. I just, I think it's super cute. And obviously this babe from Honeybee Shop is just so cute. And oh my, that's here too? Yeah, is it labeled or something? It's sticker paper. I ordered that yesterday. Oh, here you go. Holy shit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, so this is definitely one of my favorite layouts as well. And I definitely want to do this again. And I love how I did the washi down the spine and then punched it. I love that washi so, so much. Oh, this is more, this is us stickers. So cute. Definitely a more like, like a brighter spray, you know, very colorful. Oh, I just think it's so cute. And it's got boba tea. So you can't go wrong with that. And this is a little PlayStation sticky note um, page flag thing that my husband got me, a set of those. And there was a PS5 event, so I put that there. Oh, this is cute. That was, I was using up another uh, sticker from that Shine Sticker Studio kit, that like creepy kit. Um, this was my mom's birthday, so I used this little happy birthday sticker. And then this that I got, this is from Yubi, I think. I got this at Walmart. And then the little girl from Shine Sticker Studio. She's so cute. Um, the Bat Ink Joy, which I still am hoarding a few of those. Those are from Honeybee Shop. And they are just the absolute cutest things in the whole world. This is Washi from the Honeybee Shop and Cookie Sticker Co. collab, I believe. And yeah, super pretty. So this is kind of similar to that other one where I didn't want to box anything off, but that one was dashboard and this one is horizontal. So a little bit different, but I really like it. I went with very like neutral and then I wanted to do hollow accents. So I have the hollow letters here that are from a little Halloween book from Recollections. Um, and I thought it would be fun to use those there. This, I have like a whole bunch of these left. They are actually from Walmart. <laughs> I found them with like the Halloween decorations and I thought they'd be really cute in my planner. I just used uh, some tape runner to put it down. This is also from that same recollections book. This washi is from St Cookie. Bleh. This washi is from Cookie Sticker Co. And I like how I did the mild liner and then wrote um, in script over it. I think that came out really cute. This is when I got the monthly inserts, uh, the printables from Jane's Agenda, and I was struggling with printing them because my printer does not print two-sided, which is annoying. So I had to like tape the pages together and it was a mess. This is pretty cute. Now this is like the opposite. This is very box off, <laughs> very boxy, um, but it's really cute. And it's just kind of simple, like kind of cute, kind of spooky. <laughs> That's exactly what it is pink and and black and gray and skulls and yeah very very cute i like it this is another favorite um obviously this is my colors like the purple and the black and everything but this was my first bay box the personality crisis 2.0 it is the one that i i had been thinking about the bay box for a couple months and finally like when this one came out and and she started like teasing this on instagram i just couldn't resist like i I was like, okay, I need to get the babe box and I still have it. <laughs> I'm still a subscriber. Um, I think this came out really cute. I love the hollow washi. Again, it's so pretty with these accents with the date covers. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I love the way it looks with the vertical layout. I remember I drew this layout to be the same width as these stickers so that it, you know, and the same width as these. I just, I love this. It's definitely one of my favorites. This is my Queen Tober spread. This was for Queen's birthday. Um, if you are not following Queen's Fancy Plans over on Instagram and on YouTube, you need to subscribe to her because she creates some awesome content. But this, she's all about rainbows, and I wanted to do a spread uh, dedicated to her birthday. So I did just obviously very rainbow, and um, I did this cute little unicorn with the bat wings because he had a rainbow tail, and he was cute. Uh, little Princess Peach sticker because she likes peach. I just, yeah, I love this. I, I love looking back at this. This was another favorite. Um, I started doing a lot of vertical layouts and I found that I really liked it. Um, I think what I didn't like about the Happy Player vertical layouts was like the three boxes that just threw me off. But having just like one long box, I really like. I've really been enjoying it. So this is more of your typical like you know, orange and black, like traditional Halloween. And I think it's really cute. I mean, I'm here for the booze. Another printable that I barely used because I just don't use monthlies. This is Blush Baby from the Honeybee Shop Babe box. And I think this came out super cute. 
this is not my usual aesthetic, but I definitely like um, every now and then to do these kind of like neutral, more like, you know, girly <laughs> spreads, I guess, like with the rose gold. I think it's very cute. And this was a great freaking day. This was an amazing day. Just saying. Um, yep, election day. Yeah, this was this was really cute. Oh my god. I forgot about this layout. This is adorable. So this is my first layout where I did the cloth and paper style layout and I was inspired by, well obviously by cloth and paper, but by Katie did plans. Um, Katie did underscore plans on Instagram. She had posted that she tried this cloth and paper style layout because it's so easy to, you know, create like really quickly. And I love it. I've been doing it a lot ever since then, but this was my first one. And yeah, I think it is super cute. And obviously the little dual, I mean, the little dual shock sticky note, like, come on. This was the day the PS5 released. So, oh man, that's so cute. This was uh, a very like, I remember I wanted to do like creepy Halloween, but I also wanted to do fall. So I just said, screw it, I'm gonna do both. And I think it was super cute. I went with the cloth and paper style layout again. And I did the leaves like kind of down the the spine of the, the line there, spine of the line. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's really cute. And I love this little girl, oh my gosh. And these stickers, these um, Days of the Week stickers are from Muse Lab. And they actually have digital files, which I purchased. Um, and so now that I have a Cricut, I can print these out and cut them out and use them whenever I want. They look like the little, you know, label maker labels. They're, they're so cute. So cloth and paper style layout again, but this week I went with uh, thicker, I just used washi to, to mark off the lines and I went with a thicker washi. I think it's really cute. This is a very like traditionally fall um, layout. I just realized we're missing some pages here, but y'all, who knows what happened. Um, yeah, this is uh, very, very cute. I love, yeah, I love it. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't use some of these days. <laughs> oh, book gazer. Oh, book gazer. You're so beautiful. So this is book gazer also from the Honey Bee Shop Bait Box in like, oh my God. I love this. And again, went with that vertical layout, just one long box, and I really enjoy that. And then we have December. I went with this. Um, this was actually a layout that I did for Plan Miss. I filmed the plan with me, and I think it came out super cute. It was, I wanted to do a Christmas layout that wasn't necessarily just like traditional you know, green and red. I really like this this particular sticker book that I had, which was from, I got it Tuesday morning. I think it's American Graphs. And it had a lot of like teal accents, which I thought was really fun. So I want to incorporate the teal and I, I really love how it came out. And then Christmas week. So I did not use this layout very much, which is kind of a shame because it's so pretty, but this happens every single year, even this year or last year <laughs> where I wasn't traveling. I wasn't busy. Like it was a very depressing Christmas, honestly, but I still didn't really feel like using my planner that week. Um, but I, I mean, I used it a little bit and I just, I think this layout is so cute. I just, I love it. I love looking at it. It makes me happy. So this was actually the last layout that I did for 2020. I didn't do one from the 28th on for that week. Um, I was off work and I really just wasn't feeling, I just really didn't feel like doing a layout. So I didn't, I didn't force myself to do it. And then I wanted to just start fresh in 2021. This was a video game tracker that I did actually for this YouTube channel. And it was April through October. And I used it for a little bit. And I think it was a really cool idea, but I, there was something about having this in my main planner that I didn't like. And so now I have like a whole separate, and there's kind of a theme going here. Um, I kind of like to have things separate now. I like to have like, now I have a planner that is, well, it's a traveler's notebook. 
and I haven't fully set it up yet, but I'm going to have an insert that is like a monthly insert to track game releases. So that will be, that will take the place of this. And then I'm going to have another insert to, you know, track games I'm playing and tracking the, the trophy and achievement goals. I don't know. just wasn't really working for me. It was a good idea, but you don't know until you try something. Um, and so now I have like a separate notebook to track, you know, I wanted to, I mainly got it for like memory keeping, um, you know, for printing out like screenshots and things and, and journaling and writing about games that I love. So this was definitely a great idea. I just didn't really utilize it the way it just wasn't a hundred percent working for me. And I do like that I did that. Thanks for playing. And then there's a random blank teacher layout <laughs> in the back. And that is it. That is my 2020 catch-all planner. Like I said before, my planner lineup, my planning style, everything changed very drastically in 2020 um, for many reasons. But I am now at the point where I feel really good about my lineup. I feel really good about my planner. And actually, let me, let me go get it. So as you can see, these styles are very different, okay? Now, these planners are the same size, obviously. They both have nine discs. This planner, like, you see this cover here, and I was never fully in love with this cover, but I was just, like, trying to find the planner that worked best for me, like, trying to find the layout that worked best for me and the cover and, like, where I liked all the colors and everything, and I just felt like I could never really find one. And now with this, as you can see, this is much more me. This is my style. It is 100% custom. So this is a clear cover. And I look how the, the stickers, oh my gosh. So I only put clear stickers on here because of the way it shows through. It looks really cool. Um, so this is a clear cover from Cloth and Paper. Unfortunately, I have scratched it up just from like moving it on the table and stuff. But it's still super cute. And again, I do the, the clear stickers because of how it looks like when you, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is from Cloth and Paper. These discs, I could not be happier with. Like, you guys don't, I know I've talked about it before. I'm never going to stop talking about it. Bat discs. Bat discs. Okay. So <laughs> I just can't, I could just cry. Like, look, I'm so, I love them so much. I can't even express um, and so now this planner is like 100% custom. So it is a custom disc bound planner. There's really no way to define what this size is other than saying it's classic happy player size. I don't think there's another like word for that or term for that. It is a nine disc planner. <laughs> it's disc bound and that's what it is. Um, but I, I'm going to do a uh, a video very soon of my 2021 planner stack. So I'm not going to show you guys everything in here. I just want to give you a sneak peek. But this is my front page. I wanted to put this in here for layering with this. Um, and so I made this out of a piece of pattern paper from Baybox. And then I used these die cuts. And they happen to all be from Honeybee Shop. Because they are just like, they're just my aesthetic. Like they're just, I love them. And then... These are also all from Honey Bee Shop, except obviously these are from when I got The Last of Us Part Two Collector's Edition. And then on the back here, I love that I have like my locals spotlight. So like some of my favorite local places. This is a really great um, like thrift store consignment shop near me that is attached to a amazing coffee shop. And then this is a meadery that we have locally. So I just wanted to have like a, just kind of like show off some of my favorite local places here. And I plan on, as I get more stickers, I plan on expanding to this side. This is from Jane's Agenda, by the way, this piece of cardstock. Um, yeah, I just think it's, I think it's cool. And I love that it's like super custom. And I have this random little <laughs> Black Parade thing in here from when I was working on the MCR B6TN and I screwed up when I was printing. And I just decided that, I don't know, it would be cute to have my planner. So, yeah, I won't show you guys everything. It's just a little sneaky peeky. But as you can see, 
these planners are very different and I could not be happier with my current setup because it is me. It is like, it's custom, it's mine. It's not like nobody else has a planner that looks like mine because I, everything is custom. Like I've, you know, purchased from all different shops. I've created some stuff myself. These um, monthly stickers on these tabs I created and made with my Cricut and I'm super, you know, super proud of it. <laughs> but the, I mean, the bat discs from Muse Lab, like, I wish I could tell you to go buy them, but they were super limited edition and you can't get them anymore. But yeah, you can see there's a huge, huge contrast here between these. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely fun to look back on my 2020 planner. It's kind of emotional just because 2020 was a dumpster fire and a lot of bad things happened. But as you'll see in an upcoming memory keeping video, as I was looking back through my photos that I took in 2020, I realized I had so many good memories that I had just not even realized or not even, um, no, I guess that I kind of forgot about, which sounds sad, but I printed so many photos, like, just give you a sneak peek at how many I have here. I have them all bunched into different categories, but like, I printed a lot of photos from 2020. I still had a lot of great memories, so even in a, a year that was overall pretty terrible, we still had some really good times. So. so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps the channel. And let me know, um, has your planning style changed a lot from 2020 to 2021? I would love to hear from you guys. Um, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I will, like I said before, I will have a video coming up very soon on my 2021 planner stack and I will show you all the planners and notebooks that I'm using and, and explain how I'm using them and do a quick flip through of each one. Um, I also have a lot of memory keeping videos coming up. The usual plan with me is I have a new series coming out that's going to incorporate plan with me's with something else I really like. Um, yeah, I hope you guys will stay tuned. I'm really excited to work on some new stuff this year. I hope you guys have a great day. Again, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Like I said, I, I could, I, yeah, that did it.